I'm Local 5 meteorologist Hannah Dennis and we have finally broken that stretch of below our normal temperatures and we have had this above normal temperature streak so far this week and we are going to continue that on with our temperatures which will help the snow melt. The darker blues show a deeper snow and you can see that they all start to get to a lighter blue as we move closer into the weekend and as we get into next week. Looking at Thursday uh, at 1 a.m. on Thursday, that's when the snow will really start being um, less uh, less compact in areas and those drifts will get lower and lower. We do have rain that is coming through our area and it'll stick with us through the night and there could be a chance for some uh, snow showers uh, up in the northern part. So you'll have like a rain snow mix up there. But as we get into the early morning hours of Friday and more into Friday, that's when that rain will clear out and we'll be clear for the rain part. But those clouds are unfortunately going to stick with us. As far as how much rain we're looking at, we're seeing anywhere between a tenth of an inch to a half inch depending on where you are at. If the more east you go, the more rain you are expected to see with this system that is coming through. Tonight it is going to be rainy and your low is going to be at 32 degrees. We do have that chance for more fog tonight and going into the early morning hours of Friday. So be aware of that. Friday morning we could have some drizzle and your high tomorrow is going to be 37. The rest of the 10 day, we stay in the 30s for a little bit, but as we get into next week, that's when we climb up into the 40s. We have some days that we actually get to see some sun. It's going to be nice, kind of more of a mild week going into next week, and we have a chance to possibly get close or maybe even into the 50s as we reach the weekend.